Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to solve the following simultaneous equation by <gasps> substitution method. So they need us to use this method, cannot use any other method. The first thing that Mr. Tan comes to his mind, oh, I saw this, I'm going to label it as equation 1. This green color equation will be equation 2. Then Mr. Tan saw that the first equation is easier for substitution method because I can easily find for the variable Q, Q equals to something. 5 plus or minus 5p. Brilliant. Minus 5p on both sides. And then this will be my equation. 3. Okay. Now that I know Q and 5 minus 5p, they are equal to each other. Means I can interchange them or substitute with one another easily so I'm going to substitute this equation 3 into 2 okay so I will have 4p minus 7 7 q and you will notice Mr. Tan do not write the letter Q because I know Q and 5 minus 5P are the same. They are equal to each other. Meaning I can substitute them like this. Finish off. Then once I have this, I just need to solve this equation. Negative 7 multiplied by positive 5 negative 35 negative 7 multiplied by negative 5p positive 35p well next step is for us to just simplify so i will have 39p here do i plus or do I minus 35? Yes, I plus 35 on both sides. So that this will become zero. Alright, so I add 35 on both sides. And eventually you will get this. 39p equals to 26. So I just need to divide by 39 on both sides. Do leave your answer in the simplest form. 2 over 3. And after which, do substitute back into your equation 3 so that we can find the value for equation for variable or letter Q. So do substitute back here. So my Q, we will need to substitute this answer into 3, which will be Q is equal to 5 minus 5p but I don't write my p anymore ah p I know my answer 2 over 3 so this will give me 5 over 3 or you can write your answer as 1 and 2 over 3 and now for the last step Actually, it's a simple thing. Now that we have both the values for Q and P, 
it would be good for us to do a quick self-check. Okay? Meaning, we are going to substitute this value of P and Q back into equation 1 and 2. Okay, so equation 1 will be 5P. P is 2 over 3. Plus Q. Q is uh, 5 over 3. And press calculator. Does this give me 5? And yes, it does. So, correct. Check again. Okay. So, P. 4P. Alright, that's the equation 2. 4 times P. P is 2 over 3. Minus 7Q. And when I press my calculator, does this give me negative 9? Yes, it does. And so, our answers are correct. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Do subscribe as well.